you just with you right now But the truth, I look better under you I can't lose when I'm with you How can us lose and miss the moment? You were just too important Nobody, nobody like you do I can't lose What's up, YouTube? This is Rebecca the Diva coming at you with another video. Before I get into this video, if you are new, and I notice I have a lot of new people, welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. If you have not already done so, please, 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 please subscribe to the channel. And make sure you hit that post notification bell and select it to all. Therefore, every time I upload, if YouTube is not bugging, tripping, tripping, and bugging, you'll get notified. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> Not only that, please, please, please share, 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 share this video because sharing is caring. There are no secrets over here in this channel. Nope, not one. We tell everything and I do mean everything. And hit that like button because it's free. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps out me and my channel a great, 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 great deal. And I appreciate you guys. And for everybody else, welcome back Diva Gang. Please make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. Please check and make sure that your post notification bell is selected to all. Please share, share, share my video. Most importantly, hit that like button for your sister. Guys, it is Sunday, so happy blessed Sunday. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. I hope everybody's had an amazing weekend. Um, my weekend's been great so far. Cannot complain. Work has been just like working. Okay, it is not, I'm not going to say stressful because the only thing I'm doing is answering the phones, but... It's like with my job, they expect you to have metrics that's 95% or above. And, you know, in the beginning, I was doing some things wrong because, once again, our training was in the middle of Thanksgiving. So we was missed we missed out on two days. And then training is only like two and a half weeks long. So, yeah. And it's a lot, you know. It's a whole lot. But I'm managing to keep up. My supervisor, she's older. She's the sweetest person that you ever want to know. She's originally from, I think, Tennessee. And she is the sweetest country lady that you would ever want to know. But at this point, she kind of sort of getting on my nerves. Because she treats everybody the same. Which, when it comes to the work environment, everybody's not the same. And I keep telling her that when it comes to certain things, I don't feel that I was trained appropriately on these things. You know, or not trained at all. So once you tell me what it is, I'm always more than willing to do my own research on it and catch up. Like my um, metrics, like the first, because in the beginning, they weren't doing any metrics on me because I think my calls were not being recorded, but IT went in and they fixed whatever they had to went in to fix. And so now they're able to hear my calls, which is awesome. Um, so my first two scores that I got was... 76 and 77 I believe so then the following week because I do coachings with my supervisor once a week every Wednesday so the following week which was this week that just passed it was a 90 and a 92 which was awesome so I'm going from in the 70s to the 90s within a week okay and granted I'm not going to be perfect because we're not human you know you know we're human beings we're not robots so, yes, I'm going to miss some things on some calls, and it's like they just randomly choose a call. They don't go through all the calls and then make their choice. They just randomly choose one. So, if you choose a call where I decided not to be 100%, then, oh, fucking well, you get what you get. <laughs> you know, um, I did tell my supervisor that I'm at the stage and time in my life where I don't let jobs stress me out at all whatsoever. So if I feel like this job is not the right fit for me after so many months or a year or so, then I move on. You know, there's nothing for me to quit a job. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because what I'm not going to do is when I was like uh, at the earlier part of last year, you know, when I was working with Apple, like that job was miserable. I was so miserable on that fucking job. Like I cried, you know, and I'm working from home. So imagine if I was actually working on site. That's crazy. So, yeah, work has been kind of, not stressful, it's just aggravating a little bit because I'm trying my best, but I don't think it's being seen, you know, and then at the end of it, when I kind of like checked her, but in a nice way, she was like, no, 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 I did see the, you know, the, the, the scores and yeah, you did good, but it's not passing, which I understand 95% is passing, but hey, 
it is what it is, you know. That's why I'm trying to find me a non-phone job. Like, if, if I can give me a non-phone job, life will be grand. Oh, so fucking grand. But moving right along. Um, other than work, just been chilling, you know. The thing, thing is, that's where I don't pick up the camera because by the time I clock out at 6, I gotta get dinner prepared on days I'm really extremely tired. I do that, and I've been doing that a lot. Like, I don't give a fuck <laughs> how expensive it is at this point. My my peace of mind and me getting some rest is more important than me standing in that kitchen on my swollen feet <clears throat> cooking for me and my kid. Because I can spend a whole family here just me and her, so it's more so easy to door dash. The weather's been kind of sucky. Um, last weekend, we went out to the mall. Um, because I really wanted to go to the post office to try to get our, um, passport or passport cards. But unfortunately, they're still kind of like back dating because of COVID. Because they just opened back up last year, I think. So she, the lady was saying, even if it's just a passport card, I might be working, waiting about four months. So we're going to the Bahamas, um, on the 15th that weekend because my baby's birthday is March 19th so we'll be going from the 15th to the 18th um wow um so we don't and we're sailing we're going on a cruise so we don't need the passport card it'll just make life a little bit more faster but yeah I have my birth certificate she has hers I have my ID I'm gonna go to the DMV I think on Tuesday because Tuesday the kids have no school because it's primary um, voting day and I'm off this Tuesday because I gotta work next Saturday so Tuesday will be our day we'll go to the DMV to get her an ID then we should be set squared away all that good stuff um so I was supposed to go to the post office last Saturday but I scratched that once the lady told me it's gonna take a couple of months um, I'll do that as soon as we get back from the Bahamas so that way we'll have our passport and I'll just go ahead and pay for the passport books so we'll have that for summer travel um, then we went to the mall it was just if you're on TikTok it's just one guy the you know gay guy his name is Sandy or Stand Out Money he's a big influencer when it comes to DH Gate like if you want any type of purse and you kind of scared about the quality from the vendor go to TikTok follow Sandy or sand dot just put sand dot money you'll see his profile follow him he has all the good 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 quality stuff from dhk vendors he's an influencer he just got i think over a million on tiktok so yeah he knows his stuff so if you want purses shoes sneakers jewelry from dhk for, for the ones who know you know the ones you don't know then just never mind you know but yeah so he had a company by the name of mini so which is like an asian type of company that sell like the what do they sell like barbie themed stuff and hello kitty things themed things so i thought it'd be a great idea to take my kid because she's into those type of things um let me just show the bag <coughs> So this is what the bag looks like. I don't know if you can see that. I'm bad when it comes to focus and stuff. So we went in there. I didn't really see too much that I liked because some of the stuff that I liked was kind of like more than what I wanted to pay for it. But some of the stuff was really, really greatly priced. So I got these. <laughs> Um, shades. I think these are really cute. So they're just uh can't really see because my light because I got child in the corner. Because like I said, I'm sitting at my desk and I'm getting my work done. But these are them. And y'all can excuse my hair. It was looking cute, but I slept on it without a bonnet, by anything wrap. So this morning I just got up, sprayed some water, put it back in this thing. I'm gonna do my hair because I'm getting ready to go to Walmart in a few. Because I gotta get a pedicure done. I pick up a couple of things from Walmart. So, these glasses. I love glasses and shades. I'm going to take these on the trip with me. And I love, as you can tell, I love these little claw clips and stuff. And, of course, I love the color purple. So, I think this is really cute. I'm going to get me a little cute outfit to wear with this. And I think a little bag of candy. 
which I already ate. So that's all I got for myself. My daughter picked up a few trinkets for herself. And everything that we bought came out to $105, 113 with tax. So, kind of a little bit more than what I wanted to spend. But it is good it is. When you have a teenager, you have a teenager. You know, you can't go through life acting like jazz and not spending money on your kids. Especially when you have it extra to spend. Like around tax time. Focus on your kids. Do what you gotta do, you know, for your kids to keep them good, to make them happy. And by the way, um, this is going to be a reaction video. So, you know, for those of you who don't like reaction videos, you know, if y'all want to just stay for the parts that I'm talking about me, that's fine. That's great. Um, but if you don't want to, you know, hear a reaction video, then, you know, y'all can just skip through and go on about your business. It's not going to hurt me nonetheless. Yeah, so last Saturday we did that. Then we were, I worked all week long. Um, had a long week. Like last week, I don't know, for me it was just kind of long. <laughs> Um, I took a day Friday. I took a sick day on Friday because I have sick hours. I have plenty of sick hours up there. So I was like, you know what? You know, I'm not going to do like I did with my last job where I just let all the hours accumulate. And then when I end up not, you know, leaving that job, I lost all of that time. No. So I went on ahead and put in the system. I'm going to be out for the full day. Got paid my eight hours still. And I'm good. I'll go back to work Monday like I'm off Tuesday. And I got to work Wednesday through Saturday. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yesterday was Friday, and then good thing I did take off because baby girl was having cramps, so I had to go pick her up from school and bring her home, um, on Friday, yesterday was Saturday, so yesterday, we, um, what did we do yesterday, we went to the Museum of Illusion here in Charlotte, it was fun, I feel it was a little bit overrated, from the reviews that I had seen on TikTok and stuff like that. Um, I was careful because y'all know I suffer. Or if you don't know, I suffer from really bad arthritis in my left hip. And I sometimes have to walk with a cane and stuff. Um, I did myself justice yesterday. I had the arthritis cream. So I rubbed my hip really good down with that. And I put the little pain patches with the lidocaine on there. Um, took two ibuprofen before I left. So by the time I got there, I really didn't need my cane, you know. So I folded that up and put it in my bag. And I was able to go through the, the stuff that I knew that I was not going to be able to climb on top of. Because I have limited motion of my left hip and leg. I didn't worry about doing. The tickets were like $24. So with taxes, two tickets came up to $54, $55, which is not bad. You know, um, took an Uber, Uber who was uptown. I live South Charlotte, so they're uptown. Took a Uber, got there in about 15 minutes. Traffic was not that bad, because for those of you who live in Charlotte, y'all know the, the traffic is horrible. Um, so we got we waited around about 10 minutes, and they put a sign on the door talking about they were sold out. So we already bought our tickets online beforehand. So we went on ahead inside and waited around a couple of minutes, and then start doing the little things. Like I said, it was fun. I don't feel like I should have been charged $24 for that. I feel like, you know, $10, $12 should have been great. Um, I will try to post some pictures and a little bit of video footage that I did capture. Um, at the end of this video, after then, it was a ramen bar right next door. So we went to the ramen bar. Um, it was called Jenya Ramen Bar. I did, if y'all go to my, my personal IG page, Rebecca the Diva. Y'all will see the pictures that I posted of myself and my food that I ordered. Um, baby girl had spicy ramen, steamed rice, and a soda. I had a drink. It was called Cherry Blossom. Like, literally, this little glass, if y'all can see that, was $14. And it was watered down. Like, I didn't even get a fucking buzz. Because normally when I have these mixed drinks, bitch, I get buzzed like a motherfucker from one drink because my tolerance for alcohol is low you know what I'm saying because I used to drink a lot back in my college days but now you know since I became a mama I keep it I keep it cute and simple you know what I'm saying because both baby daddies always drank and smoked so I always my rational thinking was 
you can't have two drunk high parents in one house so somebody got to be sober for the kids and hey it was always me but this one little fucking drink is $14 and like I said it, you taste the alcohol like as soon as you sipped it you got a little taste of the alcohol but throughout the whole drink that was it tastes really watered down and yeah so I would never order another drink in there if I go because me and my daughter both like the restaurant so I do plan on going back I think they have one closer to me on this side here in South Charlotte so I plan on going there but as far as drinking nah <laughs> I would just order me a soda and keep it done but I had um chicken ramen baby girl had spicy ramen and then I had two um little appetizers which was tacos salmon tacos um, salmon was raw. It's the first time I ever had it like that. It was delicious. The tacos were delicious. The two little itty bitty tacos didn't do me no justice. Those are those. They were fucking delicious. Um, yeah. <laughs> Here's my bowl of ramen. And like I said, this is the first time I ever had professional ramen the way it's supposed to be made. Not that packaged bullshit. So yeah, that was good. Restaurant, I would get it, give it an 8 out of 10. Take off two points because the drink was watered down. But I will tag them, put them in the description box. So if you, well, I know they have them all over the place. But if you're in the Charlotte area, try them. I liked it. Um, I also want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to all of the new people. We are on a journey, on a road to 2K. Hopefully, before the summer gets here, we will hit that 2K. And at 2K, I will be doing a giveaway. Nine times out of ten, it will be a cash giveaway. I'll cash out somebody. Maybe one or two people. Don't really know right now. But closer to the 1900 mark, I will have more details on it. Um, so, there's that. You know, that's all that's been going on in my, my little sad-ass life. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's all that's been going on. Nothing much. Um, so we're going to talk about my jazzy life. She has really been showing up and showing the fuck out <laughs> in all the wrong ways. Like, it's obvious that the girl got her tax money. And I've yet to sit back and see her spend money on her children. You know, she took them out to Chili's, but she does that once a year. When she gets her tax money, she'll take them out to eat at Chili's. Like, that's the only fucking restaurant. Like me, I spent 70 bucks on a meal for me and my daughter yesterday. And I'll be willing to do that again because the food was great. And it was a great bonding experience for me and my kid. You know, we this was both our first time having professional, you know, ramen. <laughs> so I enjoyed myself and I didn't mind spending the money. You know what I'm saying? But Jasmine is like, it hurts her to spend money on her own children. And I think that's fucking sad. Like, come on, man. Those are your kids. And you so fucking poor that you swear you don't have no money no other time of the year. Like me, I work. I have a real job. So I get a paycheck every two motherfucking weeks, baby. So it's nothing for me to drop bands on my daughter if I have to. You know what I'm saying? And my older children. You know what I'm saying? Like... I didn't give them money, you know, I just bought my daughter a new phone because her old phone just finally went kaplooey on her and she needs a phone, she has a kid. So I spent like four, five hundred dollars, you know, getting her a phone. I didn't want to, but then again, she doesn't have the extra money to spill out, so, you know, I'm her mom. I don't mind doing it for my kids, like I said, even the adult ones. <laughs> Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm just trying to get some work done. But it's just crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, she had first slowed down with the narrative of, <laughs> you know all depressed and broken hearted I think for about a good two days then we jumped back on the bandwagon of you know I was left with five kids you need to stop saying that because if I was Philip, I would take a defense to that because Chris did not leave you with five kids he left you with one which may or may not even be his the way he acting <laughs> so baby you need to like cut that shit the fuck out really 
because you were not left. You know, people break up all the time with children, without children. What makes you so special? And you keep saying all this stuff. Chris is not looking at your channel. And you really need to understand that. And even if he was watching your channel, he'd probably be sitting there with his homies or his new girl laughing and shit. Like, literally. And that's what you don't seem to understand. He don't care about you. And he damn sure don't care about that baby. At all. And that's what she needs to really come to her senses and realize. He don't care about that baby. So you all left with five kids and this, that, and the third. Girl, bye. And I see she brought herself a new camera. She brought herself... A new um, iMac, which she got it from. So it wasn't from the Apple Store. To me, it don't count unless you get it from the Apple Store. Like me, I know I needed a new phone, so because I had this phone, which is my iPhone Seven. I've had this Seven since like 2019, I think, because my late boyfriend was. We were still alive. He was still alive, and he was still living with me at the time I bought this phone. And this lasted me a lot. The only thing that was really wrong with this phone is that like the battery needed to be replaced because you can charge the phone but by the time I make one phone call or do one FaceTime call the battery needs to be charged again so yeah it was time for me to level up and I have a prepaid phone company I do T-Mobile um Walmart was it no Walmart Family Mobile so it's a Walmart brand they were riding off of T-Mobile network now they're riding off of the Verizon network so I went and I upgraded my phone. I just got the 11 because that's all they offer when it came to the Apple devices and stuff like that. So I got this iPhone 11. Um, it was $249. Like I said, prepaid phone. So that's what I did. And I bought myself a... So this I got from Walmart, you know, because it's a prepaid joint. I bought myself, I think it's the ninth or the 10th generation iPad. It's all the way across the room. I feel like getting it. But I got that from the Apple store online you know um, I don't like the iMacs or the MacBooks that well to want to make a purchase I mean I have a computer that I have like the computer that I'm using now this laptop is old I bought this like in 21 I believe could have been 2020 I don't even remember but I think 21 so I've been using this and it's done me crunch the HP little Intel I have another one because that has more, you know, gigabytes to it that I bought when I was working for one company. You needed to provide your own equipment, but I decided to quit because the pay was so low. And it's behind the bed. I don't even use it. I'm saying I'm going to send it to my daughter, but, you know, she's probably not going to really do anything constructive with it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and eventually she started working. She just get her own computer because nine times out of ten she'll probably get a Mac because she's an Apple fanatic and I'm not <laughs> so the computers that I have work fine my daughter has a gateway she's getting a Apple um, the MacBook for her birthday I was gonna get it for her, but her dad always trying to one up on me so he said he'll get it so let him get it and I'm taking her on the trip and I'll buy her something else so she can physically open up on her birthday when we get back from the trip um, yeah but other than that <laughs> like yeah, I spend money on my kids. So, why she's not spending on her children is just, I don't know, I don't get it. And then all the begging you just did just in January because you couldn't pay your rent. I would have paid my rent up for at least two months. Now let's say you already paid February rent, you know, so I would have paid March's rent and April's rent. So, I wouldn't have had to worry about no more rent. You know, since you're struggling like that, try to catch up on all your bills. You know, I don't get females like Jasmine. I really don't. And then she made posts bragging and boasting about the tax money. Maybe 10, 10 bands? 10 bands is not no money. I didn't get that much, but <laughs> I can spend it in like a couple of hours top. By the time I pay off bills and buy my daughter what she wants and buy myself what I want, help out the other kids. It's like that money gone. That's petty money to me. That is petty ass money. You know. And I try to spread it 
to, you know, what I need mostly. Like me, I've been focusing on buying inventory for my business. So I will be making a video just, just geared toward the products that I sell. Um, trying to hurry up and like trying to finish my decorating my house basically you know because I've just signed another lease here so I'll be here the next two years until she graduates high school you know by that time I'll be ready to move into my forever home but I bought a nice rug off of um, amazon.com it's like a five by eight rug and in reality you don't know how big that is but it's a big ass rug like literally it's a big ass rug um, my room is kind of small because my bed is kind of big and takes up a lot of space and I have my work desk in here yeah so I don't really have a lot of room in my room the way that I want it. I want a big spacious gigantic bed master but this is reality so I got what I got and I'm grateful for it um but I bought it, it was only $40 um I bought myself a little folding ticket I was getting a desk and like I said the desk that I want a I'm gonna struggle putting it together and I don't really know no dudes like that that I want in my house to come help me put something together because you ask a dude, hey, can you come over so you can um, help me put together a desk and they'll take that as you want to fuck them. I ain't got time for that. I really don't. Um, so I just got a folding table and it is what it is. It, it, it serves a purpose. Like my personal monitor and laptop fits, fits on it. My two work monitors and my work laptop fits on it and I got plenty of room for everything else so I'm good to go with this folding table I'll probably get some like wallpaper to cover it a nice little color or something but it's plain black and like I said it does its purpose um the only thing I really else want to get for my room is I eventually want to get another mattress to put on my bed so I can have two and I want to get some curtains for my windows and maybe another picture or two to put on the wall and that's it as far as my room goes I need to finish fixing up my bathroom um stuff like that so little by little I can get everything done um yeah but other than that like come on now you gotta you gotta do right by your kids because if it wasn't for your kids you wouldn't even have the tax money in the beginning and that's what she don't seem to understand and then, <laughs> child, she started going to the gym, which, okay, let's give her, give her a hand clap for that, you know, and she hasn't quit as of yet, because we all know Jasmine, Jasmine is the type of person where she'll start something, she'll be so fucking dedicated to something, and then two, three week, weeks later, you can forget it, she ain't going no more, and she gonna give a reason why she ain't going. Um, so, so far she's going and it has a daycare where she can take Stinkabug, little legendary with her and leave him there for an hour, two hours, I think. Um, <laughs> and you know, yesterday she posted a video on how he so-called had a meltdown at the daycare because he wanted his father but she showed no proof of that on video you send the videotape every record every fucking thing but when it comes to shit that you trying to floss on you never fucking show the, the proof of funds we need the proof of motherfucking funds bitch <laughs> like you don't you don't come on now like you doing too much at this point because number one when Chris supposedly lived there bitch he was always the fuck at work we never saw him you never saw him and legendary sure enough didn't see him and when Chris was there he barely paid attention to that baby and it was obvious like the, the, the video the videos don't the recordings that you have they don't lie sweetheart but you do you know damn well that baby boy is not crying for Chris because he does not know Chris. Like somebody left in her comments, that boy does not know that his father. And she was like, he does know his father, love. Like, you can argue that until you're blue in the face, but the facts are the facts. You know, then she goes live this morning 
still trying to justify. And that's how you know she lies about shit. Because whenever she gets caught up in a lie on shit that she records, she'll always get on trying to justify the reason why it is what it is. Like, just say you lied and it's, it's, that's that. Like, girl, bye. Because guess what? You can say he misses his father all the fucking time. But guess what? Chris is not watching your videos, love. He's just not. Especially if he's in another relationship with a whole nother bitch. Because that's going to be ground. Because if you my new nigga. And I see you watching YouTube videos of the old bitch. Whether she a baby mama motherfucking not. I'm a mama. No we go. Yeah nigga. The fuck. We going to scrap out this bitch. He will not be my man. Go back to that bitch. So baby he's not watching your videos. He was never even interested in your videos. When he was there and y'all was a couple. So, come on now, let's let's be a little bit realistic. And the, talking about dating and this, the girl, you don't need to date nobody else for a long time. You need to take time off from even talking to men. And do what you got to do for yourself to heal yourself. To say, I had this one relationship, I was in this relationship for 14 years, the man broke up with me while he was in prison. Something's wrong with you if a nigga breaking up with you. And you in prison. And he in prison. Like he's in prison. I can see if you were in prison. And you'd be like. And he'd be like yo you got too much time. I'm not fucking with you like that. But he was the one locked up. And you got, you got dumped. Then you're with Chris. And it seems like the whole time he was with you. It was forced for some reason. It doesn't seem like it was an authentic. Genuine relationship. Like, he had no feelings for you. And that was obvious. So, you need to kind of sort of like... Come to realization on some things. Because that's what it is in a nutshell. You're not... Coming to realization on... The really real. What really took place. And why did your relationship really end? You know, so you need to take that time out to find out, well, what am I doing wrong where I can't be functioning in these relationships like they don't last or I'm constantly getting cheated on. So, I mean, it is what it is. We gonna wait and see what else is going to go down with her. Um, for me, it's just a, trying to justify what's going on when it comes to your son he's not crying he's crying because a you got him stuck in a daycare that he's never been before and he's not you he's doing what most normal babies his age do when they do go to school or go to daycare he's not used to it it's foreign to him so he's gonna cry until he sees his mama hell the milk fucking boy cries when he when he's with you he cries and hollers and screams like your son Seems like he has a really bad issue or problem and you need to go get him tested. Because he's really non-functioning. Like he really can't even pick up his car notes in the car. She had to reach back and give him his damn sippy cup that was right there inside of the cup holder of the car seat. Like he can't do just normal shit that he should be doing at his age. And that's sad. So why are you worrying about fucking Christopher looking at a video or whatever about this? You need to be helping your fucking baby. Take him to the doctor. Get him evaluated. Get him tested. Put your mind in the right motherfucking direction. Because your mind right now is worried about how can I get this nigga to miss me, to miss his son, and come back. And the way this nigga dogged you out publicly, why the fuck would you want that nigga back? Like, because he just made you look bad, stupid. Like, I, I can't understand for the life of me. I really can't. But... Like that old saying, you like it, we love it, baby. Keep it up, because we need the content. I know I do. <laughs> but that's it. That's all. I'm going to end this video now, because it is 12 o'clock. And like I said, I need to get ready so I can go to Walmart, so I can get my toes done, because they looking like creature toes. Um, baby girl's going to get her eyebrows waxed, and I'm going to pick up a few things from Walmart, because I need to. Like, my trip, we're leaving on the 15th, <laughs> which is approaching vastly. So I need to get everything that I need for this trip and get everything packed so that's the least of my worries um yeah but I have more content coming 
like I said I bought a whole bunch of new inventory so I'm going to be making lip glosses lip oils body butters yeah all that so stay tuned go to my store fearless hustle llc llc.com we have 25 percent off spend five dollars or more get 25 percent off uh, we might even have free shipping i'm not too for sure but just go check out my website until next time guys bye